You've probably heard this by now, but the egg is probably one of the most multifaceted ingredients in the entire world, and yet equally underrated. And you know what? This recipe should put a little more respect on that name. Okay, so today we're making scotch eggs. Now, what is that? Like hopscotch? Jumping around on jump rope? Is it like a, a butterscotch? Just dipped in butterscotch and then eaten? <laughs> funny, right? No, it's not funny, okay? Scotch eggs are very, very important to me. This is a serious subject. A scotch egg is typically a hard boiled egg wrapped in sausage, then breaded, then fried, and then enjoyed in sweet bliss as it whispers sweet nothings in your ears. <laughs> but you know what though? The hard boil thing, not about it. Why can't it be a soft boiled egg, right? Too hard? Too hard to peel? What if it falls apart? Or what if you just do it properly? That's what we're gonna do today. So with all that said, let's make this, shall we? Look, it's real freaking easy, bruv. So with 10 eggs, and of those 10, you're gonna remove two, which we'll need for later, so we're actually only boiling eight of them. Uh, I don't, we're already doing a mathematical equation here, and I'm, uh, it's, it's too much. Lower your eight eggs into a pot of boiling water. I actually started these at cold and found them to get cooked too much for my liking. So definitely start in boiling water instead. Anyway, as soon as they're in the water, let those cook for four minutes and 30 seconds exactly. Then immediately plunge them into ice water and let them cool for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Then carefully peel those under running water. Oh Josh, but why does it have to be running water? It's so messy. Actually, no, this is less messy and it helps get the shell off without tearing any of the white, which for an egg that's this soft, you're gonna need all the help you can get, brother. Now once those oofs are peeled, let's make our pork. Spake it a little for being a bad boy. Start with two pounds or 900 grams of ground pork. Then to that meaty man, you're gonna add two teaspoons or four grams of ground black pepper, one tablespoon or 12 grams of kosher salt, half a teaspoon or one gram of cayenne powder, one small pinch of ground allspice, one tablespoon or 15 grams of packed light brown sugar, one tablespoon or 12 grams of Dijon mustard, two teaspoons or 10 grams of Worcestershire sauce. At this point, I'm just saying Worcestershire sauce incorrectly, all right? I know how to say it. Two and a half tablespoons or seven grams of finely chopped sage leaves, a quarter cup or 15 grams of finely chopped parsley, mix all that together until it's combined, then knead your meat, yeah, just like dough, for one to two minutes or until you get a nice tacky meaty mixture. Nice. Be sure to break off a little piece and form it into a small patty to sear and cook through just to taste and adjust any salt levels if needed, then divide your meat into eight evenly sized balls. And as per usual, if you want them super even, then weigh all the meat in grams, divide that by eight, and use that amount in grams per ball of meat. See what I'm saying? Efficiency. Now roll all your balls and place to the side. Now for wrapping your huevos in your meaty balls, it'll look something like this. Lay down a sheet of plastic wrap and place your ball right in the center. Press it out with your hands until you get a circle about two and a half times the size of your egg and it's a little under half an inch thick. Take one of your eggs, gently toss in plain all-purpose flour, shake off the excess, then place it in the center of the meat disc. Then using your plastic wrap, gather up the sides, cover the entire egg, gently squeeze the edges shut. And at that point, I like to remove it from the plastic wrap and seal the rest of it by hand so that it is completely encased in the meat. No holes in your balls. If you have any holes, for one, it's gonna ruin your egg, and for two, you know what? You know what Papa will do. And that's your wrapped little man. Just look at him. Don't you just wanna sing to him? Oh my little meat wrapped egg man. Anyway, repeat with the rest of your eggs. Now, the breading station is simple. We have one bowl with panko breadcrumbs in it, another with all-purpose flour that's been seasoned lightly with salt and pepper, and then a third with the remaining two eggs cracked into it along with a splash of water whisked together till evenly incorporated and homogenized. Now here's how to use that station. First, toss one of your balls gently in the flour to coat the whole thing. No flourless spots. We've had this conversation before. Papa no hug or kiss. Gently shake off the excess, then toss to coat completely in the egg wash, and finally into the panko breadcrumbs to coat completely. Now hang on, brother. You think we're done here? Give that one more coat back into the egg mixture, and one last time into the breadcrumbs to give it a double coat of panko. Again, no wet spots. And remember what I said about wet spots. We don't want any in the bed, and so we don't want any on our scotch eggs. Now, all you gotta do is lower those bad boys about two to three at a time into frying oil that's around 350 degrees Fahrenheit for a grand total of five to seven minutes or until a beautifully golden brown. Quiffy, quiffy. 
egg emerges from the oil, shimmering in all of its glory. Place that on a wire rack to drain and repeat with the rest of your eggs. I mean, look at these, Some something about them. This perfectly beautiful oval shape just looks magical. You almost wanna see what the inside looks like. So let's get a knife and cut this open to see how we did. And as you can see, it appears that this thing is about to bust in the most glorious egg yolk split we've ever seen on this channel so far. So with that, it's time that we say goodbye to powdery overcooked scotch eggs and hello to the eggy taste test of the century. Yo, it's my ball. Beautifully crusted. Okay, that could be an instrument. Let us commence. Splendid. Right off the bat, this is perfect and it's a whole meal on its own. You have the crunch and the crust, the starch. You got the protein, the fat. And last of all, you have, well, more protein and fat, which is the egg. So where's the vegetables? Not really there. And just how we like it on this show, no vegetables. The point is, this is a perfect meal on its own, but you could take it much farther by putting it on something, a sandwich. You could put it over rice and throw on some, some glaze. This recipe is so shockingly easy, we're already done with it, so I figured I'd show you a couple of quick ways that you can utilize this. What else can we do with a scotch egg, Josh? Please, do tell. Well, you could do whatever you want with it, or better, you could get some toast, arrange some avocado nicely on there, maybe hit it with some lemon juice, flaky salt, then follow that up with a beautiful, massive half of your scotch egg, some fresh herbs, fresh cracked black pepper, and whatever else you want for an avocado toast that will surely cost probably about $30 anywhere you go. Now, another option would be my personal favorite, which is sort of like a son-in-law inspired version, where you essentially will lay it split open in all of its flowing yolk beauty, place it atop some beautifully steamed rice, then hit the rice with some thinly sliced green onion, toasted sesame seeds, a nice glug, or two of your favorite soy sauce. This is just dark soy sauce and a generous handful of Bonito Flakes to finish it all off. It's simple, but beautiful. Now, as simple as these other options seem, let's see if they work with a heaping sausage wrapped fried egg oozing on top of it. We have two different versions, completely different. Avocado toast, so think California Valley Girl and rice bowl with a crisp egg. Now this is sort of an iteration of son-in-law vibe. Oh yeah, this is a very good idea. Top 100 right here. Anytime you go starch on starch, you think, oh, it has to be too much. It, it never is. You get the richness from the avocado, the crunch from the actual toast, and then an additional sort of like whippity crunch of the scotch egg. You got that runny yolk sort of bleeding through, so you've got the, you know, runny yolk avocado toast. We all know that. But this additional layer of sausage and crispy crust is the answer to your prayers, toast people, okay? Are you a toast person? Hmm? And you're not putting a scotch egg? Bro, wake up. Anyway, that's my two cents. So. Onward to this. Before I eat this, you should always have some form of soy to season it with. This is a sweet soy. I'll give this a little extra drizzle because I feel like it could use a touch more. Just stains everything so beautifully. Oh my God. Got the yolk on the rice, some sesame seeds, some soy. Where has this been all my life? I was wrong about this. This is nothing. I can't go any farther, otherwise that's that copyrighted song will give me a strike, so. Monetization? All right. This is far beyond what I had anticipated. I could very easily eat two, three bowls of this. This is everything I could have ever wanted in a scotch egg. So a UK, British, Scottish combined with Japanese cuisine? Can it be done? It has been. The possibilities are limitless. Choose your own adventure. You wanna know what else has Papa's deep fried huevos on camera? B-roll. All right guys, and that is it. So we made our scotch eggs beautiful yolk. When we split it, it was like bussy. It was busting. That was the juiciest yolk shot I think we've ever gotten on this channel. And it was within the confines of a deep fried egg. The pork was beautifully juicy. I mean, it was juicing. The outside was crisp, crunchy. It had a nice layer, not too thick, not too thin, just right. You gotta try this if you've never had it before. Because it's one of those foods that's kind of got a fair food vibe to it, but it also has some level of elegance to it. It looks mysterious. It's like, how did he do that? Is this some sort of egg sausage magician? Hello, yes, it's me. Anyway, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you 